Hey friends, welcome back to another vlog, another weekend vlog. Today is Saturday, May 14th, and I am about to head out the door. It's going to be a busy one. Um, they always are. Actually, this weekend, if you've been following along, this is like the first weekend in a long time that we don't have, you know, things we have to do other than just regular grocery shopping, things like that. I'm actually going to run over to the restore first and see if I can look. I'm going to, I'm starting to think about my pantry makeover, so... I want to see what they have there. Just like to see what they have first. Um, they have doors, and that's where we got these doors for like a couple dollars each. And just want to see what they have. And then we're going to head over to the grocery store. I have to get like a lot of groceries today. And then we're going to go out to my mom's, probably do a few things, put her little squirrel table up that Marion made her if you saw my Mother's Day video. And then um, want to maybe go to a movie later today. That would be fun. There's a new movie called Family Camp. It looks really funny. Uh, we might take Jackson later. So I just have lots of errands to run, things to do. So I'm going to be vlogging all weekend. Um, and then I really need to get some laundry done. I have a literal mountain of laundry. And it is raining this weekend. I wanted to do some yard work, but I just don't think it's going to happen this weekend. I think it's going to have to be next weekend. Um, it's just we have this like low pressure system right off the coast and it's supposed to be literally for like three days just throwing rain back at us. So I'm not going to plan any outdoor stuff. That's kind of it's not enjoyable when it's raining and everything is wet and yeah next weekend things can be a lot better so definitely stay tuned for that i also want to get my porch all decorated for summer so maybe i'll do my planting and my porch and all that next weekend that'll be really fun this weekend yeah i think it's just going to be running errands doing laundry all those things i got all the animals in here so yeah i will be taking you with me this weekend so we are here at restore hopefully we can I don't know. I don't know if they're going to have anything. I really want to find like a door. I don't think I said this. I want to find like a door for the pantry room, like a screen door or a door with a window. And I, I know what I'm looking for. I don't know if I'm going to find anything, but this is always the first place I like to look for projects because they have such great prices. And if you can find something that's like old and recycle it, I love that. So let's go see. I love these plantation shutters for like a kitchen. That would be really pretty. They don't have as many doors today as they usually do. I love to use these old cabinet drawers for like pictures. Look, look at that, it's like already framed and everything. So cool, like use my, like use my Cricut and put something on it. Just have to fill in the hole for the door or for the knob. find all my windows old windows out here <laughs> it's definitely you know you got to look through everything I think we could totally build a screen door that wouldn't be too hard to build I actually have something on Pinterest I pinned a while back that I thought about doing for the front door, but I could totally do that for my pantry. These are all just screens, and it's so wet. It's been raining all day. Look at all the screens. All right. Sink has a bulk. <laughs> this is kind of kind of rough.
So we left Walmart and then we ran over to Sam's. I'll give you a haul when we get home. But we uh, bought these salted caramel churro flavored almonds. And um, they're definitely not sugar free. Probably have tons of sugar, but yep. 15 grams of sugar in a fourth of a cup. But Marion loves churro flavor and these are so good. Almonds are good for you, but these are so good. Like they're, they almost taste buttery and sugary. But I'll show you everything we got at home, but I got these keto nut granola. If you saw my last video, two videos, I don't know. I just um, bought some stuff at Aldi that was $6.99 for a way smaller bag. It was 10 ounces. This is 22 ounces and it was on sale for $9.81, I think. And it looks very similar. This says birthday cake, so I don't know, but I'm going to try these and see if they're similar to those. Oh, they look like it. They have like pumpkin seeds and all kinds of seeds and then toasted coconut, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, dried coconut, and they're only... There's no added sugar in it, so let's see if they're as good as the one at Aldi. Definitely have a birthday cake flavor. They're good. I love toasted coconut, so. So we stopped at my mom's house. Well, we came by my mom's house to bring something for her and to put our little squirrel table up, but it's just so pretty out here. I just thought I'd show you the view. It's so pretty. They cut this. I've been hauling all her food out. They do this like food drive and I just hauled it all out to the mailbox for the mailman but um they cut this uh, field when it's really tall and they bundle it up for hay so it's a beautiful view and this tree right here is so pretty this is the tree her big tree in her yard that we're gonna put this squirrel table on this is her little squirrel feeder Patrick always brings her corn and puts it on there and she gets to watch him so now she'll have her little table, but all her birds and squirrels love this tree. <laughs> Here's the squirrel table. If you missed that Mother's Day vlog, he made it. It's basically like a miniature picnic table and you screw it to your tree and then the squirrels will come and sit on it. It is actually a thing. And he made me one too and his dad. I don't know, but that's a big tree. And it is beautiful. It's her favorite. She loves this tree. She's got the same rhododendrons as we do. I really need to trim mine though. Mine looks awful. I'm gonna get out there soon and do that, but they are beautiful. They always bloom in May. I could totally live out here. Totally live out in the country. Done? <laughs> so now they have corn cobs right here and then I'll have some, put some walnuts up there. <laughs> that is so funny, I'm not gonna hang from it. <laughs> yeah, that would not hold me, but that is, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah, that will definitely hold them. I put some, wow, you put a lot of walnuts. <laughs> Too bad we can't just like hang out for a while and wait till they come. That's fun. That is fun. Maybe five you think? No. <laughs> well, a bird took one, but no squirrel yet. All right, we are back home and I've unloaded the groceries. Jackson and Mary brought them in. I've unloaded them, they're all over the kitchen. So I'll show you first what I got at Sam's and then the rest I got at Walmart. I do, I do need to go probably to Kroger, grab at least some broccoli. The Walmart broccoli looked terrible, like it was bad. Their produce is questionable sometimes. Also their meat. I got ground beef at Aldi in my last grocery home, like little mini grocery haul. And that was, that ground beef was really good. Like it was just definitely better than Walmart's ground beef. It was like a dollar more a pound though. So I just went ahead and got it at Walmart today. It was still ridiculously expensive, but as we know, everything, literally everything I grabbed has gone up. It's so crazy. So I spent um, $96 at Sam's and then I spent $280 at Walmart, which is crazy for what I got, I think. 
Okay, so at Sam's, I did get two Regal movie tickets. I like to buy them there. They're cheaper. It's like $19 for two tickets. So definitely cheaper than at the movie theater. And then I showed you these. They're pretty good. I like the plain. If they weren't birthday cake, I'd like them better. But this is good. And it's so much. And on the back, it says put it on like sugar-free Cool Whip for a, you know, it, it says for a keto dessert. But it would be a sugar-free dessert for me. So that would be really good. I did get some sugar-free Cool Whip. And then these, of course, they're so good. They are limited time, though. We might have to stock up on these because they'll only be here for a while. If you know, Marion loves churros, churro anything. And then I went ahead and bought two of their bathing suits because I've been wanting, I've been thinking I wanted to try these on. And a friend of mine, we went to the beach, she had bought one and it was really cute. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to buy it and try it on. So I wasn't sure which size, so I bought a medium and a large. So I'll try, this is what they look like, the front of them and then the back. So I'll try them both on and see which one fits and I'll take the other one back. So I will get $26 back um, depending on, you know, hoping one of them fits. But but my current bathing suit with the tie-dye, I, I get a lot of people say they like it and I got it at Sam's too, 26 bucks. They have really great bathing suits. I have a couple from there that I've always loved, but this is the new style this year. So it's kind of just like a bra and then this, this goes over it and then some shorts. So I'll let you know how those fit. And then down here I have some cat litter, cat food, toilet paper, and paper towels. And then my produce and a little tiny thing of ice cream. I need to get that in the freezer. So we did get some Little Debbie Honey Bun ice cream. Marion and I will split that. This is probably our favorite of all the Little Debbie ice creams. But these are some non-food items. I got dishwasher packs. I don't really have a favorite. I just kind of grab whatever I feel like grabbing. So... These are the ones I got this time. I needed a new kitty litter scoop. I got some, what is this called? Conditioner. They changed the packaging on a lot of things, but that is totally changed. And then I went, I got this Optic White. I've been using Arm & Hammer toothpaste since I was a kid, and I love the way that it's like, makes your mouth feel so fresh, like fresher than any toothpaste I've ever used. But I keep hearing about this, and I thought I'd give it a try. So we'll see. It's kind of small for the price. But I'll see if I like it. Oh, got these flushable wipes and a small thing of paper plates. Then I got my zero sugar Cool Whip. Stuff is so good when it's frozen. It's literally like ice cream. It's so good. I got a couple things of frozen broccoli and then some corn. And like I said, they didn't have the fresh broccoli or it was awful. And they only had a few. So I'll still have to go get that. But I got a cucumber, bell pepper, some bananas and strawberries. Strawberries are in season now so they're really inexpensive and really good and then I got some spinach and spring mix some baby carrots and some tomatoes then these are the meats I got for the week some turkey this is a big this was $7.50 for this thing of lunch meat but Jackson and I both like this and he's really wanting to take sandwiches for lunch so he's only got one more week of school and then one week of finals which he won't have to take lunches but we'll eat this you know at home too I got some of this uncured turkey bacon. I'm going to be making my breakfast burritos because I haven't had those in a couple weeks and I'm really missing those in the morning. I got some chicken breast and then a big thing of ground beef. A 18 count eggs. This was over $3. I just, it's just crazy. Some brioche buns. Those are Jackson's favorite for sandwiches. I got some rye bread. Marion has some pastrami and he loves pastrami and Swiss on rye. This is actually rye and pumpernickel swirl together, so he loves that. Got some Hawaiian bagels for Jackson. Some egg noodles. I'm going to give you my meal plan in a minute so you'll see what all these are for, but I got egg noodles, my carb balance tortillas for my breakfast burritos. I needed more parchment paper and aluminum foil. Got a big giant thing of coffee for Marion, and then I went back to my old Alpo um dog treats this is three dollars and the little tiny ones i've been buying are like five dollars for this little tiny bag so this is just way cheaper but i'll just trade them off every now and then they like them both they don't i don't know that they really care but got those this time i got marion his favorite churro cereal and jackson's favorite honey nut cheerios gotta have those too i got some jumbo shells because i like to um, i call it manicotti but we're gonna have jumbo shells one night i got some penne pasta for chicken alfredo and then Marion loves these malt Lance crackers. He says they're like smoother than peanut butter. I don't know. He loves them. I got Jackson a little movie box of Sour Patch Watermelon, his favorite. Some onion soup mix for my meatloaf. Let's 
some blueberry fruit and grain cereal bars. And then Jackson, they actually had his favorite drink mix today, the fruit punch, but this is like two something. And then these Walmart ones are only a dollar. So I grabbed this strawberry watermelon, which is one that he really loves too. Marion put that in the basket. He, lo he loves peanut or almond M&Ms. They're his favorite. And I got some Swiss cheese for his sandwiches, some mozzarella cheese, some cream cheese, and some cheddar cheese. I got this chicken salad. I like the other one that doesn't have cranberries, celery, and pecan. They have two kinds. It was it just says rotisserie chicken salad, but they didn't have any. So I grabbed this one because I really wanted their chicken salad. I like to make wraps with the spinach and tomato with this. It's delicious. So we'll be having that one night. I got some of these because these are my favorite for my breakfast burritos. Then I really wanted the rolled pie crust, but they didn't have any, so I just got the frozen ones. Those will have to work got a big giant thing of mashed potatoes i forget why but i'll tell you in a minute i got some these chicken strips these are our favorite and then some arby's fries and then some beef and cheese flour and flour tortilla taquitos these are mary's favorite whipping cream let me just tell you i don't buy whipping cream much because i don't i don't drink coffee but like I need it for a couple recipes and I want to get the big one. It was almost $8. This one was like almost $4. But it was almost $8. I could not do that for whipping cream. That was insane to me. So I got that one. Hopefully that is enough for the couple recipes I need it for. And then lastly, over here, Marion got a big giant thing of fried chicken. That's his favorite. That's going to be what he eats tonight. We'll eat something. I'm not sure. But he'll eat. he actually eats on that for a few meals. I got some brown gravy mix some fish oil. I take a lot of these. Marion and I both take these. Got some cat food, canned cat food, a couple cans of tomato paste, and then a couple cans of our favorite peas. Then some cream of mushroom soup. These are my favorite baked beans. Nobody else eats them, but I love them, so I got a little can of those. Marion requested these Italian green beans. Got some minced onion and two things of Parmesan cheese. And then I needed drinks for Jackson. They were out of everything. So I just got these, um, I don't have my glasses. Whitewater Wave, is that what it says? <laughs> Hawaiian Punch Whitewater Wave. Hopefully he'll like those. He's only got one week of bringing lunches and then he's done with school. So I'm gonna put all these groceries away and just sort of clean up a little bit. And then it's like, what time is it? Four, four thirty-nine. We're gonna go to a movie with Patrick later. We're gonna go see Family Camp at like seven something. So I need to get these put away and probably go get the tickets just because you have to have assigned seats and you know, you wanna, it's a, wanna make sure we all get seats together. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Also, I got these the other day at Dollar Tree. So these seeds, it's the perennial mix. All of the other ones were annuals, but these are the perennial mix. And then I got this for sunny areas because my front yard gets so much sun. So I'm gonna, um, hopefully next weekend, I'll get out and do some planting with those and we'll see if they if anything comes up. All right, I'm gonna give you my meal plan. I always forget to give the meal plan until later and I get moved around and so I'm gonna do it real quick. I did put everything away. Oh, I'm out of breath. It's a great feeling to have your pantry stocked and your refrigerator stocked. It's such a blessing, but it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. So for the meal plans for two weeks and like tonight, I don't know, Marion's gonna have fried chicken. I'll probably, Jackson and I will eat something, but we'll also probably get popcorn at the movie, so that might be my dinner. I don't like to like eat a big dinner and then go and eat popcorn because I just feel way too full. So that's probably dinner tonight. So, and then I'm sure that we'll eat out like in the next two weeks is Jackson's last day of school. So I thought it'd be fun to like go out that night, maybe celebrate his last day of seventh grade. So we'll probably eat out that night. And I'm sure there'll be another night we might grab something or we'll do leftovers a couple nights. We're gonna do Olive Garden chicken in the crock pot one night with like broccoli. I'm gonna do the homemade pizza at pizzas. I haven't made that in a long time and I've been craving it. So maybe like on a, on Friday night, I'll make homemade pizza hut pizzas. I'm gonna do my breakfast burritos and then we'll just have breakfast for dinner that night. I'm gonna do the chicken salad wraps or like Marion will have his uh, pastrami and Swiss. We'll just have sandwiches easy on a busy night. I'm gonna do sl sloppy joe tater tot casserole. I have a video on that. It's so good. I'm gonna do meatloaf, potatoes. I was gonna do roasted broccoli. I still gotta go get that. Uh, chicken strips and fried homemade chicken pot pie, 
broccoli chicken alfredo, beef gravy over mashed potatoes, and manicotti or stuffed shells one night. So yeah, we definitely have enough for the next two weeks. I gotta let Oliver in real quick. It's not raining and it's turned out to be a beautiful day. Like the clouds really, really moved out. But it is a chance it's still all through tonight and all day tomorrow and all day Monday for rain. So I'm not starting any kind of like gardening project until next weekend I have decided. But we did get that stuff done at my mom's and it looks so cute. So I do need to have Marion put my squirrel table up somewhere in the backyard. I'm not sure where exactly. Maybe just on the deck. I don't know. We'll figure a place out. But I think I'm going to call Patrick now. We're going to run over and get movie tickets. The movie starts in a couple hours. We want to, we like to pick our seats beforehand. If you go to Regal, you know. And the seats were filling up fast. So, Chloe. Chloe, are you telling me you're hungry? Huh? <laughs> she always finds the bag. Okay. I'll get you some. So we're at the movies and um, Patrick's coming with us and the movie theater is way, way over there. It's like this big parking lot, but Patrick parked right here. I'll show you his car. <laughs> Here's his car. And Patrick, you know, since he had his wreck, he said that in his in the video that we did that he parks at the furthest. Um, oh, sorry, he parks at the at the farthest parking spot because they told him he would never be able to walk, or that you know they told us he may never be able to walk. So he does that just so that he can um, prove, them prove them wrong. Yeah. So we decided to park next to him because you know we can use a little walk too. But I think it's so funny. He literally will take the furthest parking spot. Welcome, y'all! How <laughs> are you? We're at row E, 8, 9, 10, 11. No one's here. I mean, they will be. Our greatest joys lie in our little intermissions. So cool. All of your actions. Okay. Uh, well, that was a cute movie. It was cute. Was it was, it was. It said it was made like by Caleb, I guess. It's one of those Christian movies, you know. They like courageous and all the all those. It's got a lot of the same actors. It was really cute, though. All right, it is Sunday now. It's Sunday afternoon. It's like one o'clock. We just went to church, came home. I just made like a quick, easy lunch, leftovers and things like that. And I have a lot of housework to do today. <laughs> I've kind of like put off my laundry. Like I still have laundry from the beach that I have not washed. So um, because I like washed before we went to the beach, I got all caught up so that when we got home, I, I, Jackson would have like uniforms for the week. We would have clothes. And so like this past week, I literally didn't hardly do any laundry. So it's definitely caught up to me. So I've probably got five loads of laundry and that is only clothes. So it's probably gonna take me multiple days, but I threw a load in before we went to church this morning. So just to get a little jump start, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch that into the dryer and put in the next load and just do as much as I can during this day. And then I'll just obviously have to do it tomorrow <laughs> and the next day. But um, I also wanna do my floors. I need to clean my kitchen. I need to make dinner tonight. I think I'm gonna make sloppy joe tater tot casserole, which I've made before, but I know, you know, I'm always getting new viewers. And so if you're ever wondering like a recipe recipe, like if I've made a video, if I say I've made a video, I have a recipe playlist that it may be incorporated into a vlog. Most likely it, most of them are, but there's recipes I share over there. This is um, a recipe that I, I'll try to link the recipe down below, but I don't really follow, I don't know if I really follow it. I kind of make my own sloppy joe with just ketchup and mustard and brown sugar and garlic and onion and green pepper and ground beef and then just kind of do it to taste and then I'm just gonna put tater tots over the top, put that in the oven, and then I think I might put cheese on top. I'm not sure. I might, sometimes I put cheese, sometimes I don't, but that is, I think, gonna be an easy dinner tonight. It's easy and it's delicious and it makes a lot, so we'll actually have leftovers which we can eat on. So that's like a basic rundown of this day. I think Marion's gonna go out and do some, cut the grass because it's really needing it after all the rain we always get. 
and I think he's going to tear apart some pallets with Jackson and make like a, um, what's it called? A Target. We ordered him these like Target sheets on Amazon and he uses his airsoft gun and he just wants like a Target to practice. So I think Marion and him are going to build a Target and then those things are coming on Wednesday so we can put those together. But I need to get changed. I'm still in my uh, church clothes. This is a necklace my girls gave me like years ago for Mother's Day, I think. And I don't know if I've ever worn it or maybe once. But um, wearing this LuLaRoe dress that I found at Goodwill, I showed in a haul a long time ago, and it matched so pretty. So I finally got to wear it with something. I've had it forever. But I need to go ahead and get out of my church clothes and get into some easy, comfortable cleaning clothes because I got lots of cleaning to do. <laughs> We're on a journey Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now my sink looks like Sunday afternoon I need to empty the dishwasher because we like don't even have any silverware it's all in the dishwasher or dirty so I need to I don't think that's a full load so I'm gonna go ahead and empty the dishwasher which I haven't done in a couple days it's been awful and then uh, reload it and then after dinner I'll hopefully have room for the dinner dishes you know and this light is of course being every time I try to turn it on and, and vlog anyway um, I'm not starting with the clean kitchen I'm starting with the dirty kitchen and then I'm gonna do the dishes and then I'm gonna sweep my floors because it's hard to tell it's really hard to tell but I'll show you I'll try to show you a close-up of what my floors look like of you know Clyde's little black hairs everywhere you know with five animals you can imagine there's a lot of hair so I have to stay on top of it but my vacuum is not doing so great I'm starting to look at new vacuums I'm gonna need to get one I mean it still works but not like I want it to like I would love to get um there's Marion out there he's can't see him he's pulling out the uh lawnmower and because our grass is so tall but that's because we have so much rain. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I want to find a, maybe find a vacuum that's like designed to pick up pet hair because I feel like when I do my bare floors with it, it just doesn't it doesn't really do a good job. So I don't know. I'm gonna be sweeping today. I'm gonna vacuum my rugs, but I'm gonna be sweeping. But I really just want to get everything like dusted and swept and all those things that need to be done because I haven't like dusted and all that since I got back from the beach. So. I'm gonna just be doing a lot of cleaning, so hopefully it will give you motivation. Clyde's crying because he wants to go out. He loves to look, go out there, and he's been out there for a while, but we finally just closed the door because we had to turn the air conditioner on. It's just too warm, so I do let him go out there sometime w when he wants to, even with the door shut because we have the screen door locked out there, so he can't, you know, he won't get hurt, and he lets us know when he wants back in, but anyway, that's why he was crying. He'll talk to us and say, I want to go outside. So, and these two, these two just can't be bothered. They're living the life, living the life. I'm 
might be going crazy, I don't know what to do My heart is screaming for you, babe And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is grey, babe Every time I'm feeling down, you can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me, got no reason to be afraid You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark I feel it in my heart You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark Yeah, you're glowing in the dark Looking at ya, you're like a firefly Guide me out of the woods now Oh, I think I lost my way but got you to help me back Tell me what I should do now Every time I'm feeling down You can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid You're glowing in the dark you're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, I feel it in my heart. Okay, I know I keep talking about next weekend. I'm going to get out here and do some yard work, but like I told you, Marion's out here. He's getting ready to mow the grass, and he was like raking up a bunch of the hollyberry leaves because they are just everywhere. And I'll show you this guy. Looks a little scary, like stuff's coming, but hopefully he can get it done before that. But... I'm gonna go ahead and just like, I started pulling out leaves from the bushes that I'm gonna be trimming next weekend. And I'd rather pull it out now and let him mulch all the leaves up so that next weekend I don't have to like pull them all out and then haul them away somewhere. So I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna do a little bit of raking while he's, before he mows so that, um, y'all gonna come out? Okay, <laughs> if I come out, come on, come on. Uh, if I come out, they wanna come out. But anyway, hold on. Okay, so you can see the, the clouds are building and all off that way too. So, but, and the sun on cue just came out. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be able to get this all done. I poked it, I got a horn or something in my finger. I was doing this with my hands and then I thought, you know what, I need to get, I need to use the rake. So I'll show you what I, <laughs> what it looks, it looks like a jungle out here. Just be prepared. We haven't mowed the grass since we left for the beach. So two weeks ago. So Marion's out here doing a lot now, but I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. And then like I said in my next video, I'm gonna get out here and trim them all back and plant some things. It's gonna look so much better. So these are my bushes. I have to cut them back every year because you have to cut all this off and then the new stuff can grow in. So they get, I cut them back and then they grow this big by like June, really, they're beautiful. So, and these, I, they're like hostas. I, plant, I replanted them from the front yard because they were getting too much sun. Back here, they do much better. And then I just like dumped this out of a pot and kind of set it here and it started to grow. So I'm gonna come in here and clean all this up. But today I'm just gonna like rake all these leaves out so that when I come back next weekend, you know, it'll be ready and Marion can like mow right up to them. So they're looking pretty rough, but I did pull out a few big weeds and pulled out a lot of the leaves, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest so that, you know, it'll be ready for me next time.
right, back inside. That'll make it a lot easier for me next weekend when I get out there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my floors now because they really need to be done. I'll show you if I can. Try to show you, I don't know if you can see. There's like Clyde's hair everywhere. <laughs> it's just, it's bad. to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this if you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I on the ocean now nothing but waves in this filling in i want to dry up but you just keep on going don't you i don't even know how we got here all my reasoning have disappeared i want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home our home our home we don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home
could be ourselves Didn't have much but nevertheless We were true to each other But now we don't even bother I remember you being hopeful But the tall waves have worn us down And slowly we... Okay, obviously I decided to move the table So we have a few things going on in here that are driving me crazy And one was that you couldn't really fit someone over here because this you know the shoe bench it's still right here the the one reason well there's two reasons I haven't moved it and that's because one the cats really love to lay on that in front of the window and two Marion still uses it to put his shoes on so you know my plan is to move this back over here and this in the basement we just haven't done that yet so it's driving me crazy still probably sounds like a broken record but someday we're gonna move that downstairs he's kind of you know gotten used to not having a recliner and he's like I don't know if I want it or not but I'm not ready to just like get rid of that because it is so comfortable so I don't know for now it's here so that means that's over here but my cats really did love having this in front of the window like especially Clyde so maybe I'll put that on out on the sun porch or something maybe that would be a good thing for him to sit out there I don't know he really really enjoys being out there so but this was just too tight like this dining area was too tight with all this stuff in here I gotta figure I gotta figure something out but for now I thought if I just turn the table to where it's long ways uh, maybe it would feel better so we'll try it we'll see so now even though it's 3 15 I'm gonna go in my room make my bed dust sweep uh, Jackson cleaned his room and I went in there and swept really good got everything out from under his bed and all those things but I'm trying to be respectful of the fact that he's a teenager and you know that's his space and I don't necessarily want to film that you know that's his space so scratch that my laundry just finished so I'm going to switch the laundry over because that's priority one.
So check the backyard. Mary's finished mowing. It looks so nice. He weedies it along the edge. Oh wow, he did a good job. Our um, neighbor, if you remember, if you watched the vlog where the tree they had cut down fell on our fence, he finally got out here and fixed the fence. But um, Mary didn't mow. He didn't mow under the. Ouch! Whoever decided to plant a hollyberry tree right next to the house where the leaves fall on the deck. I don't know. That wasn't very smart. <laughs> Those leaves hurt. But it looks so much better out here now. So obviously, still needs to be a lot done, but he was able to mulch up all those leaves. So now it'll be ready for me next weekend. We've got to buy a new tarp for the pool. We, our other one, we had to throw it out. It had lasted two years, but it's hard finding one that size. Hopefully we'll be able to find one. And now that we don't have all these trees shading the pool it's definitely going to be different it's going to feel different it's going to be nice to have sun on the pool so it won't be as cold Okay, so like I said, I'm linking it down the recipe down below. I did look back at my video, and it's a little bit different than I'm going to do today. I used tomato sauce in that one, and then also ketchup, but I'm just going to do ketchup, mustard, brown sugar. But do it however you want. This is just how I'm going to do it, but I'll link that just to give you like an idea uh, if you want to follow that recipe. And I'm going to cut up, I'll probably use a whole bell pepper and most of an onion, and add that to my ground beef. This is a little less than a, a pound of ground beef. And one thing that I had forgotten is that you put the cheese over the meat before you put the tater tots on. It makes the tater tots crispy, I guess, and kind of helps everything stick together. So I'm gonna do that. And I think you cook it at like 450, but I'm gonna do it at a lower heat, maybe 400 for maybe like 40 minutes. I'm just gonna have to watch and make sure the tater tots are done. Okay, so the tater tot casserole was so good tonight. It didn't like when I put it in the pan, it didn't look real appetizing, but the flavor is so good. I added um, Worcestershire, however you say it, sauce, I know I'm saying it wrong, to it. Also, with the brown sugar, garlic, 
ketchup mustard. You kind of have to use a lot of ketchup or you can do tomato sauce like the recipe calls for. Some kind of tomato base. You can use tomato paste with water. Uh, I've made it a lot of different ways, but I really love it this way. It's my favorite. And with the cheese that holds the tater tots on and then the tater tots get crispy on top. So good. That is so good. So we still have a lot left over. I don't know if everybody's finished, but I'm going to go ahead and clean up the kitchen. I just have the dinner dishes in the sink and run the dishwasher. I think I'm on my fourth load of laundry today. I'm doing really good with that. And actually that's the last of the clothes. And then I just have like sheets and things like that. So I'm going to, somebody is texting me, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and close this. I feel like this vlog's probably going on for a long time. Sometimes the long ones are fun and these weekend vlogs do tend to be longer because they're two days. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. You know, I love you guys. I'm praying for you. I appreciate you so much. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.